What's going on, everybody? This is Jeremy. Um, I was looking around earlier on uh, eBay, looking for some stuff, which I'll get into what I was looking for in a second. And then I started, I don't know, my mind kind of wonders. And I started thinking to myself, you know, I wonder if there's an easier way to uh, search for stuff on eBay. And then I came across this. It's called Garage Buy. Uh, I'm not, I've just gotten this within the past probably 15 minutes, so there's probably a lot of stuff on here I've not even noticed yet, but, uh, let me go ahead and show you what it, uh, well, when you first get it, you have to set up your account, uh, which you pick, the first thing you do is you pick what, uh, the country you're in, USA, I think is the default, default order by end date, uh, I'm going to go by current bid, actually. Uh, you can show however many results, which I'm going to do 100. Uh, limit search, uh, 300. I'll leave it at that. I never really checked that far down, but um, I'll do it about 150 for now. Then you set up your account, and you have to link it to eBay, which it shows you pretty much step-by-step -step how to do that. Uh, uh, watched items, you update every 5, 15, 30, 60, or 120 minutes. Uh, delete expired auctions. Okay, you want to delete expired auctions. Yeah. I guess uh, I'll go a day on it, just in case. Um, download all my eBay items. This, All the stuff you're looking at right now is the default settings, because I haven't gone in and messed with any of this. Uh, check for updates, which I've got it. I did set it to check for updates uh, anytime that uh, this starts up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go in and search what I was actually looking on eBay for. Okay, it's in the computers and networking. Uh, let's go computer and components. Okay. Like I said, we're going to go by the current price because I want to. Uh, what? A lot of times, if you type MacBook, where I where I clicked on computers and components, uh, a lot of the stuff that comes up is not going to actually be the computers. So if you go by the highest price, you're more likely to find the computers and not just the accessories. It's you know twenty thirty dollars. So that's why I went by price. Um, let me go up here and see. Of course, I've got it by the lowest price. <clears throat> go down, just look for um, let's see. The MagSafe adapter. Let's click on this. You've got all of the uh details of the category down or the uh auction down here when you click on it. Let me see if I can find a better one. Um, okay, here's a, well, it's just RAM. Uh, let's go, f let's just look for memory. Okay. So, like I said, it gives you all your details down here on the, or your description specifics. Uh, here's where it actually, t looks like it pulls this off the eBay page. Uh, it's got all the images down here. Uh, you can actually drag this up or down to expand it however you want. I keep it a, about half. Uh, you can resize the images that show up here in your search uh, by dragging this. You can make them smaller or larger. I'll leave them pretty small because you know, it's big enough to get an idea of what you're looking for. Got all your searches down here. Uh, so let's say I want this 2 gigabyte RAM. But I want to see how much it goes up to for you know a while. I want to follow it before I actually make a bid on it. Go up here and click on uh, watch the auction. And you can go over here and it shows you all the auctions that you're watching currently. Uh, if you see one and you, you see that this one's about to end and it's well within your price range, you just come up here and click on place bid. Uh, now it's got to show you, this right here will actually well, show different views can look at these different ways. This is just pictures, it looks like. Uh, it's the list view. Uh, 
then you got more of the uh, default eBay search right here. Um, show your details different ways. Uh, say you find, say this right here is the auction that I want to bid on or want somebody, like uh, say it's my birthday and somebody's going to be bidding on it for me. Just click on here, it brings up an email and you can email that to whoever you know you want to view that or if you're looking for a friend that is looking for RAM and you can just say, you know, hey, here's the link that you need to check out. Uh, generate an iCal event. I haven't actually checked this one out. Uh, start event one minute before the auction ends. So you can uh, have it actually tell you when an auction is about to end. Uh, that way you can hurry up and go in and check and see if you want to bid on it or not. Uh, you can check for updates here. Uh, I'm sure this probably is just the uh, yeah the website uh, to email or to actually go view and download this. Uh, new search, uh, save and close. You can print it. Uh, you can go in here, which I guess you can, you can highlight this and go up to uh, edit and delete it, or you can actually just right click on it and go to delete watched auction. Uh, you can update all your searches. Uh, update all of the watched auctions so you can go back and scroll back down or just go down and click on all these and see how much time is left on them. Uh, you can add an auction ID and it will actually add it to your watched auctions. Uh, so it looks like that's about it, but uh, it's a really nice application. I've, I was kind of randomly searching eBay and and I thought about it, and I thought, you know, I'm sure somebody's made, a, made an application for eBay. So, uh, yeah, I like it. It's definitely a lot cleaner looking, more organized than using the website. So, uh, I think this will probably be something I use pretty often now. So, uh, I would definitely recommend trying this out. If you use eBay a lot, or you want an easier way to search through eBay, and uh, keep up with all your watched auctions and stuff like that to uh, decide what you're going to purchase or not purchase or whatever. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the uh, description in the, uh, or the link in the description. Sorry about that. Uh, but as always, uh, please subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, yeah, I will be doing more of these probably tomorrow. So, uh, look back for that, and hopefully uh, I have some more videos up for you tomorrow. Uh, thanks again. Bye.